today we're in Michigan. Back inside to cooking my breakfast. How it's completely rusted out, put it under load. We'll take you through some RV operations. What are you doing? Yeah. As well as mess around before our son Reese takes the stage. Getting his bike ready? He's so nervous. How you feeling? Better. You excited? He's been training for a while now to meet his goal of entering a motocross race. Today is the day. There she goes. Let's go to Redbud. It's a beautiful morning here at the track. I really wanted to cook breakfast outside today. We have a Blackstone grill. That's the flat top grill. I was gonna do like scrambled eggs with veggies and turkey sausage and all this yummy stuff. And I get it all set up. I go outside, I say, Jeremiah, can you clean the grill? He's like, yeah, I'll clean it real quick before I go sign Reese up for a race. Like, okay. So he calls me, he's like, hmm, I think you wanna look at this. It looks like it's completely rusted out on top. Back inside to cooking my breakfast. That's okay. I'm gonna turn the generator on. How'd it go? Closed. I was just showing the Blackstone and how it's completely rusted out. Yeah, well, don't take it to the ocean. You're gonna cook up a little bit of veggies. This is really good cheese if you're dairy free, by yeah. the way. Now they're making it in shreds. Swiss for Jeremiah. We got some turkey bacon. There's all my veggies and we'll do it. But I was really excited to have the generator off and be able to cook outside and listen to the bikes. So I'm a little disappointed. I can still open the windows and you can hear the bikes. Actually, you can hear them without even opening the windows. Yeah, all right. We have to turn on the generator to use the convection cooktop. And then what we usually do to put it under load is we'll turn on two ACs if we're cooking. If we're not cooking, we'll turn on all three. And then you'll hear it beep in five, four, three, two, one. No. Darn it. I thought I could do like the Doug Heffernan microwave thing. Mm -hmm. Went up, there it goes. We're not camping, we're glamping. I asked Jeremiah if he wanted to have a glass of champagne. He had about half of his glass, and now I find him putting on stickers. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm trying to, well, you know, you're like the freaking sticker, uh, sticker Nazi. I'm trying to put as many as I can on there. If we drove through Idaho, she's like... No, not doing um, it. What did you put on so far? I put on Texas, uh, New Mexico. That's where we were with the sands, white sands. We have done West Virginia. We've driven through there. No, Jeremiah. It takes what more is, than just driving. We have to stop for a night at least and go experience something. Right. Later, we got Reese entered into the 50cc class and it was time to get ready for practice. Getting his bike ready? Yeah, plus takes transmission fluid. It's pretty weird. How you feeling, Dad? Good, how are you feeling? I'm great. I know how Reese is feeling. He's so nervous. He's like, I think I got a stomach bug. Oh, he'll love it once he's out there. Oh, he's gonna love it, yeah. All the little dudes out there with him. Change the oil. I have a nice little aftermarket Renthal chain sprocket, you know, two sprocket chain wheel thing. But uh, these are fun. These are the stock ones. He's not really crushing it right now. So these will be fine for right now. And we'll let those last until it's time. How you feeling? Better. Good. Huh? No, not, that, not better, but. Be all right. You'll feel better in a little bit. We bought Reese a bike when we traveled across the country. We've always wanted to get him into riding. This land adventure was the time to do it. It'd be kind of hard to do it while sailing. So here we are. So many of you have enjoyed watching him grow and we wanted to share his first ride with you. So here we go. Just after the first turn of the first lap of practice, he decided to get a little too far back on the bike and a pretty decent get off, sending him flying to the ground on the other side of the track. That was pretty big, but he got back up and wanted to continue practice, which made me proud because I would have gone right home. Yes. You all right? I just hurt. It bent it like that. 
I didn't see you go down, but I looked up and you were down. I went, right? And it made me all crazy. It made me go. Did the other one and it flew me off and I went down and then crashed on the other thing and went like this. You okay? Down. What'd you think of your first? It, that's a hard track. But are you happy you did it? We got you that 6D helmet, so it shouldn't hurt it, at all. It you like ate it. some dirt, dude. No, I didn't. Mom, can you? Practice was one thing, but now it was time for his first moto. You excited? Yeah. He's excited, but we're super nervous. Nothing takes balls like lining up on a motocross starting gate. This is wild. All right, there he comes. Have fun, buddy. Love you. Well, this was it. The gate dropped, and he had to choose what to do. Take it easy or go for it. This is my time. I'm on the rise. You better bet that I'm on it. Ready and set, I'ma own it. Let the time they keep going. There ain't no coasting. I never settled on play. Put in the kettle to flame. I go 100 all day. We've enjoyed sharing his childhood with you. Thank you for being here. I like your hair, babe. Thank you. Put my hair in braids. It buys me time before I have to wash my hair because we only have so much water. We can't make water like we can on the boat. And then it buys me like days. So I braid it, wear it for two days in braids. Um, and then I, I used to do this a lot when I was younger. And then I kind of stopped, forgot. And then Jessica, our daughter, uh, she does this a lot too. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it like brings me back. And I'm like, I gotta start doing that more, so. Reese was all done and it was time to enjoy the weekend. It was time to enjoy the pros in action. All right, hottest balls. So Jeremiah actually went back to the RV as well with Reese and the baby's napping on him. Walking down here, I'm gonna go find the beer tent and try to have like some mummy time. Uh, but you can't bring your drink in my second to last high noon so I'm just out here chugging and then I'm gonna whip it in this dumpster over here. All done. It's a freaking madhouse. Found the beer tent after probably 10 minutes of walking. All I have is bush, some energy drinks. Oh my gosh, I don't want either. I'm drinking vodka. I'm gonna try one more and if not, then my cold drinks in the RV are looking pretty darn good right about now. We're on Red Bull! Red Bull! There's so much energy at these races. If you ever get the chance to attend one, go for it. All right, too busy in there. I'm going back to the RV where the drinks are cold. I have what I want and essentially they are free. RV is like a straight shot right from the gate. Oh, there she goes. You have to, uh, yeah. It's a little slower now that the kids jacked it up. Segway, nine bot scooter. I'm a new driver. The weekend was coming to an end, and we had one more evening to enjoy the lovely grounds here at Redbud. <laughs> the friend of ours, actually the same lady that we gave to Corey and Kai our bulldogs to. She bought this for her husband. He couldn't use it, so she gifted it to us. And we loved it. It's worked out great. Last year I was pregnant with you on this. With you in my belly little lady. I'm gonna go Have find fun. our son. All right, enjoy. Coming up next time. I've been trying to do this for two weeks for John. Maybe now I can actually cook breakfast out here. We're off to Country Fest in Ohio. Well, we got to Country Fest. This place will be wild. 
You ready to get some Tim Hortons? I'll take Reese for a treat. <laughs> okay. The kids have taken over. And we're boondocking again. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.